Welcome back guys, I hope you guys are having a great day. We're gonna play some more mechanics simulator today and we're gonna be fixing some more cars. I'm so excited! Well, before we can dive into this video, please make sure you smash the like button down below and click on that subscribe button, which will help to support this channel and I'll be able to create more videos for you. I really appreciate it. Let's do this! Alrighty, and we're back! So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go and take the campaign mission or whatever you wanna call it, a story mission. So this guy just said that he wants his car fixed and he's a fisherman and he spilled some fish uh, inside his car. So first of all, look at this dirty thing. Of course, we're gonna take it to our car wash and we're gonna completely wash it. So first of all, outside. Yeah, already looks way, way, way better. The wood. Look at that. Look at that. Didn't even wash it. Alright, so... Second of all, we're gonna... Do interior cleaning. But I'm pretty sure we'll need to replace some parts because, well... It's fish that he spilled. So, let's just see. It says all these, bar, uh, all these uh, story... Uh, missions have a list. What do you need to do? So let's check. So first of all, a whole bunch of things need to be replaced in the engine. Well, under the hood. Damn, four pages. Are you freaking kidding me? Change oil. Other attack. Perform wheels alignment to calibrate them. Refill. Okay. Well, where's the interior? It didn't say anything about the interior, hello. Uh, well, we might have to. You know what? Let's just go and check that now. Disassemble additional parts. What are additional parts? Interior disassemble. Let's see. Well, that all looks good to me. I don't know. We'll just put that back in there. Well, maybe it was just... I needed to just wash it. And that was it. Alright, normal mode. So, we're just gonna... Take some, do some tests on it first. Because I'm not sure how the engine is holding up. So, ODB scanner. Let's check what this baby pops up. Because the first thing I want to know, do I need to take the engine apart? Meaning that are the pistons somehow damaged? Because that's basically taking the whole engine apart. So not even sure if this is fine or this is not fine. Let's check. All right, all the parts have to be, all well, the replacement parts have to be above 49%. So that looks fine. So ODB scatter didn't find a single thing, which is just amazing. So now we're gonna do a compression test. This should show us if anything like the pistons are fine. The other pistons look fine to me. Even though they're a bit worn out. That is still okay, because usually it, the parts that need to be replaced are below 20. 20% roughly there. At least below 25. Okay, what the hell? Everything is fine. So the whole engine looks to be fine. Can all believe that? I did three sets of tests. And nothing to replace. Look at that. Not a single thing. Okay. So. Well, I guess there's a whole bunch of... Yeah, okay, yeah, alright. There's a whole bunch of things that we need to replace. In the steering. During, under the hood, basically. Alright. So then, in that case... Well, I see the brake server is also... Well, not. Damn it! We didn't replace the fuel. The fluid. Well, now we have to put the new one in. Damn it! All right, so this one's on the house. Well, we made a hundred thousand in the previous job, so that's why we're up at a hundred and five thousand. So, which is freaking phenomenal. All right. All right. Now we're just gonna replace what we need to replace, and that's probably everything in the suspension. You know, the wheels look fine. There we go. Well, yeah, okay. We need to take the whole thing apart, for sure. 
I didn't even check, but I'm just gonna start replacing parts. Damn it, this is all rusted. I need to use the VD. Break this wheel hub. Get off. Yeah, where is it? Wheel hub bearing. Yeah, to take this thing apart, we need to take off everything. We need to mount the suspension. There we go. Oh yeah, front wheel hub. Damn it! Oh, everything is rusted in this thing. All right, left suspension. This, this beats some pace. There we go. A few more suspension arm. What? Oh, okay. I need to lift it up. I thought I already had it all the way up. But there's two levels to it, so. Looks like not. Alright, what the hell was that red thing? Let's take the wheel off. Okay, that's the head, engine head cover. But really not a lot of pieces, so what the hell? There was a f list, four page list of things I need to replace. And these things are all fine. The things I'm taking off, you, you see the rust, but at the left corner you see the percentage. Everything above 20 is fine. So, and all these pieces are fine. Which amazes me. Alright, see, all of that. All of that was fine. This is definitely not fine. What the hell? It didn't even pop up for some reason. But that thing, that part was definitely not fine. And this also not. So, we're coming to the rusty parts. So, the rubber bushing seems fine to me. Yeah, I see. Only the bottom suspension. Both rubber bushings were fine. Kind of leave, leave that in there. So, this rubber bushing is definitely fried. This one looks fine to me. This one looks good too. Yeah, Alright, let's take the bottom suspension out. I'm not sure if this one's done. No, it was not. Oh, actually it was. Not the rubber bushings were fine. This rubber bushing is gone and the cross member all right so we got all of that off let's go and take the rear wheels off brake caliper there you go brake pads these are done see they were 25 percent but there that's that's still done we need to replace that okay so this thing was done oh yeah it's actually missing a bolt here, all right. That's definitely not good. We'll help. So this thing is fine. All right, this thing is, doesn't look fine to me. 10% down, this thing was beaten up. All right, rear shock. There we go, absorber. And yeah, okay, this tire, we need to take that off. But that's still, like to me, that's not a list, four page list of things we need to replace. So as soon as we're gonna take these off, we're gonna check if that's all of them. All right, this thing is rusted as hell. 15%, 13%. What do we need to do? Oh, okay, rubber bushing. And this thing. Shock absorber. Oh, we need to take off the drive shaft. To change that. There we go. Some spray in there. Some spray in there. Yeah, I'm not sure about the gearbox. There we go. Ah, uh, what are we missing? Oh yeah, this whole wheel hook. There we go. We took that whole thing apart. Now let's check the list. Whoa, that's that was actually three pages. And we still haven't found three things. Three things. So I'm not gonna put everything back until I found those th find those three things. Okay, one of them is definitely a fuel filter. Maybe an oil filter? Yep, that was I think that was it. Let's check. Yep. 
so the other filter is there, so what the hell? Oh, okay, I think this is probably the air filter. Let's just check. Otherwise, we'll need to take a lot of things apart, if that's not true. So, let's just check the air filter. Pretty sure, sure I'm betting on the air filter. Yep, look at that dirty thing. Look at that dirty thing. We have a new air filter on in storage so let's just put everything back clip clip a yeah we're not gonna put new ones in you're not paying me to do that all right change the fuel filter put the new one in and that should actually be it so let's just check refill windscreen fluid where is it windshield fluid We'll just do that right now. What the hell not? We we'll just need to refill, refill it. Okay, that was actually past the level. Refill, perform wheels alignment. We need to do that. Change oil. Okay. Oh damn, I didn't check. But yeah, that was it. So that was all the parts. We're just gonna change the oil real quick. There we go. Use equipment. Drain that oil out. Alright. Now we need to move this. And put this back. Alright. Looks good to me. Now what we're gonna do. Is we're gonna go and try to fix some things. Okay this is. I don't need to fix that. No brake caliper. Do I need to? No. Okay that looks fine to me. Okay I'm not gonna replace anything. You know what? Go hell with it. I'm gonna replace it. Fix that. But what we're actually wanting to fix are these... These really beaten up parts. There we go. There we go. So I actually don't need to fix them up that much. They just have to be over like... I forgot actually. It was 40% something. So, we're just gonna go out over 50, just to be sure. Damn it, no, I don't need to fix that. Spraying U bolt. Nice. Okay, what else do we have here? I think that should be it. Yeah, I'm not gonna replace other, uh, fix other parts because those are just things. Let's just check. Those are just... Oh, damn it. It has to be over 49%. Yeah, so the other parts are just... I'm just beaten up. And I just need to put them back. So... Front axle knuckle cover. Where is it? Front axle knuckle cover. Because the stupid thing is that you need to replace it with... In the actual place where it was broken front suspension cross member what the hell so we need to buy that for sure where is it front actual I forgot it was c okay c c c nope c put that in a place all right upper suspension okay now i'll need to Sadly, check every single thing here. Because I don't know which of these parts are new, which are replaceable. Which kind of sucks. This should be... This should be there by default. Like, why do I need to... Like, do this manually. This should be automatically. So, yeah, okay. Old one. And you see, this one This one needs to be new. But because I don't have any. Well, that is a problem right there. Okay, so these can be old. And, yeah, there we go. Let's put the old ones back. And... Gosh, this is gonna take forever. So, bottom suspension arm. I 
guess I need to buy these bottom suspension arm, bottom suspension arm, yeah, which one? A, okay. God, God. All right, I'm gonna buy four of these. I'm gonna buy a bunch of these. Damn it, yeah, and then you don't even know if the bushings should be new or not. Damn it. Oh my God, this is just ridiculous. Oh my god, okay, uh, I have no idea if this should be new or not. I'll just put in the other parts first. Knuckle cover. This is an old one again. Wheel hub bearing, old one as well. The disc can be old one as well. Brake pads, old one as well. Wheel hub cap, old one. Brake caliper, old one. There we go. So, yeah, that's exactly it. I have no idea. So, this to me looks all. I can use all old ones. But I know for a fact that this one only needed to have changed the bushing, the, the, the only the thing, not the bushings. Hopefully I am right. Oil filter, new oil filter. Yep, the rubber bushing here has to be replaced. Let's check that one, that one as well. There we go. Let's check. There's one more over there. Uh, that's the old one. That's an old one. Alright, and brake disc, old one. Pads, old one. Wheel hub bearing, old one. Brake caliper, old one. Plus the cylinders. Wheel hub cap, an old one. There we go. Inner tie rod. I don't even know what I took. Why I took that thing out. Outer tie rod, old one. And wow, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's just go first to the back. Put that thing. Cool spring rear eye drag. Oh, I don't even know how to say that. So, something on the rear. Rear, no, that's not it. Coil spring. Okay, where the hell is the coil spring? This is it. New part. Drive shaft, definitely an old one. Actually, I think I just put in a, a better one that I took out. But oh well. Solid. Oh damn, I need to replace that as well. Okay. Solid axe control arm. Let's see. Solid axle control arm. Where is it? Let's just buy five of these. What the hell not? Okay, new rubber brushing in there. For sure. Leaf spring, new one. U bolt. Yeah, definitely all new ones. These were all done or missing actually. Rare. So this this thing is should be old. Real bearing old. Old. Or maybe not. Wait, was it even shown? Not even sure. Brake disc, an old one. For sure. Brake pads, new ones. Brake caliper. Damn it. Damn it. Where'd he go? Oh come on. An old brake caliper. And alright, I guess we can put the tires back up. There we go. Alright, let's see. So these are all new parts that I have to put in. Yeah, 
the springs. Where is it? Rear spring, rear spring. Buy five of these. And I'm not sure if I have the caps. No. Rear cap. Yeah, just buy a bunch of these. There we go. Other shock absorber. Oh, I actually don't have more. Oh, let's just buy a bunch of them. I have the money now. After I sold the other car, which is great. So this thing it should be old. This wheel hub should be new. Drive axle. Solid rear drive axle. Where is it? S, S, S. So buy a bunch of them. There we go. Now what? Brake disc, an old one, and new brake pads, which I do not have. Where is it? Brake pads, just buy a bunch of these, so we definitely need these a lot. New solid control arm, brake caliper, should be, should be an old one, but I fixed it up a little bit actually. So, it's on the house. Alright. Few more bolts. There we go. Uh, okay, I don't know what happened here. Put that thing up there. Rear spring has to be a new one. Rear shock absorber cap, and then the bottom here, leaf spring thingy, and two U bolts. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna put these up, and another one. There we go. Uh, I think this thing needs to be new. Alright, I think that is it for the back. Let's check. Bottom suspension arm. What? Okay, let me just untap. Unclick all of those. Unmark all of that. Okay, why the hell isn't this working? There we go. So what we're missing now is no rubber bushings at all, which is great because that means I can only that I only need to put in new ones. All right, put that tire up there. I only need to put in back the uh, the old ones, yeah. So I don't need to put any new ones back in. So yeah, there we go. We have a bunch of old ones. Damn, which are pretty beaten up. 38% that that is actually really bad But if they're not paying for it, why do I care? Double wishbone shock absorber. All right I need to buy that double wishbone shock absorber Let's buy a few of those I guess we'll need springs as well and some caps And we need to go and and join these parts. There we go. When that is being done, we can put in some more parts. Uh, what are we missing here? Outer tie rod. I don't know why I took that out. Vintage tire, put that buyer back on. There we go. Where, okay, back to our machine. Join another one, and in the meantime, I can already put in this one. Wait, what? Double wishbone shock observer. What the hell did I put in? Okay, might have double wishbone shock observer. And what the hell did I put together? Good God! All right, let's buy some more. No harm done. We're gonna we're gonna use them eventually. All right, join some more parts. Let's check. This should now fit. There we go. All right. Let's check. Front shock absorber cap. Oh yeah, th th this is all of it. There we go. Actually, we can separate the old ones. So we can sell them or fix them separately. And voila! This should be it actually for all the parts. And we did it. 
Alright, we just need to put back in the fuel. Or, not the fuel. The oil. And we're gonna move this. To our test path. We're gonna align the... Where is it? I'm not even sure. The wheels? We can do the wheel line. doesn't matter. There we go. Not even sure if I needed to do the lights. But the wheels are way off. But I think actually it was the wheels. Let's see. Change oil. Yup, it was the wheels alignment. So let's put in the oil now. Where is it? Right there. And that is it. Thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel. It really does mean a lot to me if you support it. And as always, keep on gaming.